John here guys and today we're talking about what I feel is the best budget option for freestyle that you can possibly get your hands on and when I say budget I don't mean cheap I don't mean compromising in the type of flight or engineering that you'll receive I mean that it literally has a low price and but it, the value is quite high this is the hyperlight glide and it is kebab's latest blessing on the fpv community uh, in, in a full five inch frame size now everyone's been talking about the toothpick uh, this has been out for a little while but let's just go over some of the components now when i saw this thing i'm gonna go ahead and take the top plate off here's the top plate and you can see it has plenty of things for zip ties for strap mounting toilet tank or regular style it also has this little notch right here that we'll cover in a little bit but let's take the top plate off so we can dive into the frame itself wow on the videos when i saw kebab talking about it i thought to myself why is the center thing so long why is there so much wasted space and that was my initial impression because i thought we were going backwards we're going back to like the alien uh, style thing but when i actually got one and started putting it together i realized that the proportions while reminiscent of those vintage and original frames have actually been shrunken down yes it is long but it's been thinned out for micro size camera mounting great you mean it doesn't have a mini camera like the armatan no this uh, takes into account all the modern conveniences of fpv today i love the shape of the arms uh, and this thing has if you can see the individual arms uh, are floss style but they have a flat surface right here and they made up and then have two screw holes in there and this bottom plate um, allows the arms to really the sandwich plate is the secret to not having um, arms wiggle around so i really appreciate that this achieves a lot of the rigidity of a single plate um, freestyle design while maintaining the flexibility affordability and versatility of individual arms and while we're at it this thing comes with two it comes with a set of dead cat arms for the front and it comes with a spare of these arms so you get in the kit like seven arms i mean you're one arm short of doc ock on spider-man And while we're on the subject of stuff that it comes with, look at all of the different hardware it comes with. It comes with a lot of these plastic washer things for helping to mount your stack. Oh man, you always need those. It comes with 20 by 20 and 30 by 30 mounting screws. I have the 30 by 30 ones in there right here. It comes with two sets of standoffs, the slammed ones, or if you want to get a tall stack, it has tall ones. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna like just be storing and banking all of this hardware for future builds. It comes with way more than you need. It comes with a ton of M3 nuts, screws of different lengths. Oh, man, I love this uh, this new trend of including all these extra goodies that you're gonna need for this build and future builds. See, man, they got headphones and everything. Oh, wow, cool. Um, so great on that, great on the extra arms. I really appreciate that. And one other note I wanna make note of is um, the triple mounting hole solution. Now in the center, you have 30 by 30 right here that I'm gonna be using, and then you have two different 20 by 20s. You can have it a little further up or a little further back. And you have 20 by 20 in the rear, 20 by 20 in the front. Now notice that the 20 by 20s that are at the front side are moved slightly back. Why is that? Because your camera is gonna be up there. A kebab is literally thought of everything for this uh, to give you the ultimate free style flight one other um, notable reason why you may want to go with something like this is the community development support all the hyperlight frames are community favorites now here's the 20 by 20 vtx that i'm going to use i'm actually going to stack it on top of my esc and i'm using this little 20 by 20 to 30 by 30 um, hardware conversion thing that's higher that pyro sells for like 60 cents or something um i was wondering how am i going to do my antenna well, I was able to find this antenna mount on Thingiverse, print it out in like 20 minutes, and then boom, I have an antenna mounting solution from the community in less than an hour that it took to download, transfer to my SD card, and print this thing. Outstanding. Now, I also wanted to get a GoPro mount because of course you're gonna wanna be getting smooth, buttery GoPro footage with the Glide. 
Um, so I actually downloaded and printed this out of TPU and look at this thing. It has this little slot holder right here. So it fits right into this little slot. Then the screws are gonna go into the standoffs at the front and boom, you have like a 25 or 30 degree uh, GoPro camera mounting solution. And I was able to find both of these in seconds on Thingiverse, print them out. So when you're selecting a frame, it's not just about the accessories that it comes with, which this one comes with a ton. It's also about the community support. Are you a 3D printer or do you have a buddy that can print you stuff? If so, then this is a great option because there's all kinds of cool prints out there that you can get your hands on. I really love that. So that's not really a factor of the design of the frame from Kebab, but it's a factor of just how popular his designs are and how frequently the community designs things for them so i'm really looking forward to getting this thing built up and see how well it flies just in case i haven't mentioned the price it is 55 dollars guys it's 55 dollars it is literally half the price of a marmot it is less than half the price of a smooth operator um, can it fly as smoothly that will be remaining to be seen but Keep in mind for that price, you get all the extras. I didn't get this as a review copy. I actually purchased it uh, because I just wanted to see what the fuss was about and I wanted to kind of do, um, I'm going back and forth. What do you think in the comments, guys? Should I do this as a budget build or should I do this as a homage to Kebab and use only components that I've seen him use on the channel or at least try to use that for the most part. So I'm debating on what to do for that. I have a lot of different options I can use, but I appreciate this. Um, it is definitely an homage to the alien um, frames that came before it, but with a floss design um, philosophy built in with the replaceable arms, floss style arms. I, I, this is my favorite arm design in the game. Not just not from an aesthetics point of view, but from a, a usability, versatility, protection for the motors. And they just last pretty well and they're cheap. They're cheap to replace. So if I was gonna build a freestyle quad that I wanted to be able to take a beating, it would probably be this. So we'll wait to the full build to see if it holds up. I'll try to actually take this one in some sketchier places um, than I usually do. I always play it safe with all my builds. But uh, what do you guys think in the comments? Um, <laughs> you know, it's the design philosophy that Kabob brings to the table. It's that he is, you know, designing something that's meant to be an homage to the builds that came before it but also takes into consideration the modern components that we're using today the 20 by 20 uh, mounting solutions the micro camera so it's really like those auto manufacturers that design a car that is reminiscent of the old design but has all of the modern technology and modern features it's like quentin tarantino making films like kill bill or <laughs> the hateful eight <laughs> You know, almost all of his movies are an homage to things that came before it, but it has the style, you know, and uh, the substance, and uh, and it really just adds on top of it. It's not a regurgitation of previous styling. It's an homage with the infusion of modern day advancements in the hobby. So we appreciate that. Guys, go buy his toothpick frame, buy this thing, and uh, check out his vids. I'll put a link to his channel below. Thanks, guys.